Sonic the Hedgehog is finally getting a sequel. Variety reported today that a Sonic the Hedgehog sequel is officially in the works. They're bringing back the original director, Jeff Fowler, and original writers, Pat Casey and Josh Miller. They haven't revealed any other plot details for this movie, but if you saw the first Sonic movie, you can probably guess where they're going. Alon, you haven't seen Sonic, right? No. Neither have I. I read some spoilers, so I will warn, spoilers for Sonic the Hedgehog coming up, Sonic the Hedgehog coming up in three seconds. Three, two, one. You don't mind if I spoil it, right? Uh, you know, I do actually, so. Oh, no. Okay, well, this stream is over. <laughs> no, so at the end of Sonic, Dr. Robotnik gets sent to a mushroom planet, loses his mind, and begins to plot his revenge. And then in a post credit sequence, Tails shows up, through one of Sonic's ring portals and tries to track down Sonic. So we can imagine Robotnik comes back, seeking revenge. Tails is in the mix. He joins forces with Sonic. What do you think, Alon? I'm not watching it unless we get Knuckles. Yeah, Knuckles would be great. I, I love when they introduced him in the, in the uh, original series. He's kind of the more badass version of Sonic. No, you're thinking of Shadow. Shadow. Mm -hmm. oh, that was late stage Sonic, right? <laughs> Alon, why haven't you watched the original Sonic movie? Um, is it a kid's movie? It is sort of a kid's movie, <laughs> but it is one of the best video game movies of all time, at least based on Rotten Tomatoes. So I do plan to watch Sonic at some point. I have a similar desire to watch this movie as I do the Scoob movie. <laughs> even though they're both kid's movies, they have that tied in nostalgia for me. And even though I haven't seen it, I'm glad Sonic did well, and I'm glad it's turning into a franchise because I think it's going to make Hollywood a little bit more willing to go after these video game adaptations. And because we had the big fan backlash when they released that original grotesque, horrifying Sonic, <laughs> hopefully that's teaching them the lesson. Hey, crazy idea. When you're adapting something, maybe remain faithful to the source material. <laughs> so I like the lessons learned from the Sonic movie. If you could have them adapt any video game franchise that you're into, what would you pick to see them do next? Got two. Okay. Zelda, obviously, but I would want it to be done anime style. Right, so not a live action. You'd rather Zelda be a Netflix series. Yeah, like, like Castlevania. Castlevania. <laughs> there were rumors, I can't remember his name now, but the guy who made the Castlevania series, he tweeted last year, major announcement, I'm adapting another video game, uh, video game property. I'm going to announce it on Twitter in a few days. Everybody thought it was going to be Zelda, turned out to be Devil May Cry, which still cool, but man, I wish it yeah. was a Zelda TV show. What's the other one, though? Uh, Mass Effect. Mass Effect. That would make yeah. a great... That's one of those games where when you play it, I don't even pick up the controller, but I sit down next to you and I watch because it's such a great story, such great world building. Those aliens that can't express emotion, so they just say it, yeah. and they go sarcastically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would make a great movie. Alon, top five video game movies ever, according to Rotten Tomatoes. Don't look at my notes. Did you already look? No. <laughs> okay, can you guess what one or two of them are before I tell you? Mario. No, Mario, <laughs> the kidding. Mario Brothers movie? No way. Uh, top five video game adaptations. Is Sonic on there already? Yeah, based off Rotten Tomatoes score. Oh, okay. Sonic. That's right. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, five <laughs> down to one. Number five, Rampage with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I was surprised to see that on there. I was also surprised to see in the number four spot, Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider, not the original with oh. Angelina Jolie. Then at number three, you've got Sonic the Hedgehog. Number two, Pokemon, Detective Pikachu. Mm. And in a number one spot, this one's pretty shocking, Angry Birds 2, <laughs> not the first one. By the way, Pokemon Detective Pikachu, that's a movie that before it came out, I remember you turned to me apropos of nothing and just said, we should see uh, Detective Pikachu when it comes well, out. I remember at the time there wasn't much in theaters and I kind of wanted to go to the theaters. Yeah, that's another one we and still haven't seen. It looked fun. It looked fun. We got to watch that one too. That and what was the other one we said? Oh, Sonic. Sonic. We got to watch <laughs> those two. Any other thoughts on the Sonic film franchise? Anything that you know from the video games that you'd like to see them bring into a sequel? Yeah, the casino level. Oh, yeah. They could do more. Having not seen the movie, <laughs> they could do more to bring in more of the level design from the game. Because from what I understand, it maybe starts with him on his world, yeah. then he comes to our world. 
I want to see him in his sonic, crazy environment. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so maybe they can bring some of that back.